Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. I know your YouTube feed has been filled with Harley news and I promise this is the last one of these videos I'm gonna make at least for this year. So there's a few things I want to go over in this video and that's the don't boycott Harley site and the do boycott Harley site. I was somewhere in the middle and on the boycott Harley site we had people doing extravagant things to get their point across. We had one guy destroy his motorcycle entirely. He shot it up. Now, as a content creator, I understood what he was doing and I knew he was doing that for views. So I completely understand, but a lot of people took it the wrong way. A lot of people were like, oh, how are you gonna destroy your bike? You could have given that to someone, you could have donated it. And that is true. He could have donated that bike to a worthy cause instead of using it as a tool to get views for his channel. I have no, I have no problem with what he did. As a content creator, I completely understand what he did and why he did what he did. But on the same side, me personally, I will not be destroying my bike. I will not be taking the symbols and the badging off my bike. I saw a lot of people did that. I saw a lot of people debadge their bikes. I saw a lot of people blew up their bikes. And I'm like, why are you destroying a perfectly good motorcycle? That is money going down the drain. Now, now if you have the money to do that, well, that's cool, good for you. I personally don't have the money to be destroying a perfectly good motorcycle. Now I think that was a little outlandish, those guys destroying the bikes, trying to get their point across. I think they could have gotten their points across well enough without destroying the bike. Now, I mean, it did serve the purpose. They got the views for doing so. Now, did it get Harley to uh, change their mind on anything? Who knows, maybe they did, maybe they didn't, but we'll get into that later. Now on the do not boycott Harley side, I saw a lot of videos saying do not boycott Harley because it will only hurt the consumer, not as much as it will hurt Harley itself or the board members. Boycotting woke Harley Davidson is going to backfire. That is a little true. It is true that it won't hurt the board members as much because these guys already these guys already made their money, they're rich and they don't give it and they really don't care about what happens. Now on the other on the other side, the company is in business to make money. This is why I think that people who say do not boycott Harley kind of forgot history. They or they forget their history. When we look back and we study history and we study Target. We study Bud Light, we study, um, I think it was Tractor Supplies, I forget. But when we, when we look back up, we study how the boycotts work for these other companies. I don't understand why people will come out and say, do not boycott Harley because it won't work for us. If you don't agree with it, that's fine. Go sell your Harley Davidson. I'll be waiting. I'll, I'll be waiting to see Cycle Trader explode. I'll be waiting to see Everyone riding an Indian, riding a Goldwing. Oh gosh, what about the Can-Am? That's it, everybody's going to Can-Ams. But in fact, these other companies crumbled under the boycotts. But Light lost so much money, they're still not even recovered fully yet from the, the damage that the boycott did to them. So when people say do not boycott Harley, it will have a more negative effect on the writers than it will on the CEOs and the owners. That's half truth because the CEOs and these other people still rely on money. Money makes the company move. And when they look back and they see, okay, there's a boycott going on, how is this affecting us? Okay, it's affecting us financially. Okay, we need to put the brakes on whatever is happening so we can stop this boycott. At the end of the day, the company needs to make money. And if a boycott is affecting their bottom line, they're gonna stop doing whatever they're doing because money makes the company move. A company cannot run without money. So boycotts, as we see from history, boycotts do work. So these guys who were saying that boycotts won't work and why are you boycotting Harley? I, they probably forgot their history and that boycotts actually do work. Now we are at a point now that we see that yes, the boycott did work. Harley put out a statement saying they are abandoning their DEI projects and they're gonna focus more on the military and the veterans and stuff like that, which it should have been focusing on in the first place. How is it that you have to tell a company to stay out of social issues and just make good bikes? It's, it's baffling to me why these companies are doing what they're doing. I thought these companies were in the business to make money, not to make public policies. As time goes on, we'll continue to see companies do these social activities and 
if it's not in the best interest of the consumer i guess the consumers will boycott again and force a reverse in policy or whatever the case may be now harley came out like i said before and reverse policy on on a lot of social issues but when it comes to selling the bikes overseas to be made i haven't heard anything on the reversal of that i don't know if it's gonna still continue or not now if you're unaware harley is sending their 2025 models over to asia the asian market to have them manufactured send some back over here and sell some over overseas now this is because of tariffs and a whole bunch of different stuff now i completely understand why they're doing this uh it's cheaper manufacturing is way cheaper outside of the US and it is and you can thank your government for that but that's something totally different we're not gonna get into that manufacturing is cheaper in Asia and a lot of the taxes and tariffs and everything aren't gonna hit those bikes as hard if they're made over there and sold over there as opposed to be making here sending over there paying the tariffs and taxes and everything and then trying to sell them for a profit it's cheaper to make them over there now they said they invested I think they said 10 million into making um, the other baggers and other bikes over here in the US market so those line workers who are working on the 2025 models will go over and continue to work on the other models of the baggers and the low rider edges and whatnot from that is from what I understand people are saying that this is a test run in Asia the 2025 models I do not think this is a test run this is going to be permanent when a company realized they can make massive profits by manufacturing outside of the US they did not up and decide one day okay well we're going to reverse course on all the money we saved and bring back the materials over here in the u.s and start making the uh the product back here again nobody does that unless there is incentives i don't think there'll be any incentives for harley to bring back their bikes over here at least not anytime soon from the current administration I believe how the boycott affected Harley was a lot of people who were going to decide to buy a bike held off on buying a bike. If company, if this company Harley Davidson realized, wait, our projected sales were 100 bikes last month and we only sold two bikes. They're going to go like, you know what, whatever we were doing, we need to stop. We need to refocus. We need to get back to the roots and start doing what we were doing back then that was making us the 100 bikes per month. If we hardly realize this ain't working, we need to we need to revamp. Now, will the CEO stay there? We haven't heard anything. I believe the CEO is going to remain CEO for the time being. We haven't heard any um, statements came out saying otherwise. Will they revert back to doing this same stuff maybe in a year or two from now? when everything's died down maybe who knows okay so you guys have your win you got harley to reverse course and now they're backtracking on a lot of stuff they're doing congratulations to whoever boycotted and made your voices heard whoever called harley who sent them emails texts all you guys who participated in the boycott congratulations you have won <laughs> all right i'm out of here keep your eyes on a swivel and i'll see you in the next one Peace.